What's up guys? I've got a sick chess composition I came across last night. I want to share with you guys. White is up three pieces and it looks like they're totally winning, but it's black to move. Black started with D2 and it looks like this pawn is impossible to stop. So if you want to try to solve this study, pause the video right now. Try some different things and see if you can find the correct solution. All right, now I'm gonna go through the solution, go through my thoughts. I was unable to get this study. I came across it in the chess.com tactics trainer. And the first thing I noticed is that this king is really weak. So even though there might not be a way to stop the pawn, we might be able to make some mating net. I also toyed with the idea that maybe we can set up a fortress with pawn going on a4 and then bishop oscillating between d4 and e3 and you know maybe this is a fortress since all of the pieces are defended but the problem is once black promotes uh, they can actually just push d4 and we don't have enough defenders on that square and that just breaks the fortress down so unfortunately that's not going to work when i was initially looking at the study i did not see a fast enough way to put black in a mating net before their queen could wreak havoc on white's pieces but you have to see the exact way to get black into a checkmate starting with bishop f3 and this is a very important move and we might see why a little bit later but of course we're covering the d1 square so black must take this and now it's important to keep the king in a mating net keep the king in a box if the king gets out then we're totally screwed because once again we can't stop this pawn the question is do we play king c7 or king c8 the answer is you gotta play king c8 here because we want the c7 square for our knight in a couple moves so we play king c8 and we can allow black to promote d1 equals queen and now it looks crazy because black is up a queen for two minor pieces but the really cool thing about mating nets is once you're in a mating net you just can't get out and it doesn't matter how much material you're up or down you're gonna get checkmated if you're in a mating net so we can actually play knight e6 here and the mating net is knight c7 and bishop d4 and Black has to sacrifice the queen to get out. The best black has is queen c2, knight c7 check, king a7, and um, this is actually going to end up in checkmate anyway because black only has one move, and we just take this, and it's going to be checkmate. So we trap the king on the corner, and that is how you solve this. But what if black doesn't play these moves? There are a couple other options black has. What if black here goes with king a7 well same thing we just continue setting up our mating net we just play bishop d4 now of course if the king continues to escape we can actually play knight b3 check and pick up the pawn so of course black tries to promote here but we just go knight e6 check and black can either sacrifice the queen and it'll be a winning end game for white or if they play king a6 or king a8 we can now play knight c7 and this is still going to be checkmate uh, this is actually this is actually a, a, what we call a perfect mate, which is when every square is covered exactly one time, and they're really beautiful and aesthetically pleasing. And we can see you can see here the bishop covers these two squares, the knight covers these two squares, the king covers this square, and the pawn covers this square, and every square is covered exactly once. Now the last mystery of this study is why can't we just go for this mating net straight away? Why do we have to throw in bishop f3? Why can't we just go king c8, knight bringing to c7, and bishop d4 straight away? Well, let's see what happens if that happens. Black starts with d2. We bring the king in, king to c8, and now if black promotes, well, now when we play knight e6, black doesn't have to go queen c2. The threat is obviously uh, bishop d4, knight c7, which is either going to be checkmate or win the queen. Black here can actually play queen g4 pinning the knight so knight c7 is no longer possible and black is actually going to win this because white doesn't have this knight c7 move so that's the reason we need to start with bishop f3 so this pawn blocks the diagonal there's no pin on g4 hope you guys enjoyed that study it was a little bit of a shorter one today but i enjoyed it a lot so i hope you guys did as well make sure to like and subscribe thank you guys for watching i'll see you next time